Events and LinkedIn. How can you promote an event via LinkedIn? Well, I just wanted to create, a, create this video to show you how to use the events feature. You may not even know there is such a feature. Um, it's fairly new, um, or I should say it's been brought back after many years, but um, it's very different to how it used to be years ago. So on the homepage of LinkedIn, you'll see this um, left-hand panel where you've got you know, your profile details, your pages that you manage if you've got a business, and you've got this area here which has got recent things you've been to. You've got your groups, events, hashtags. So events is what we're looking at here. So you can see the events I've listed, and if you hit the plus, that's to list an event. So let's do that. Let's go to a plus and add a new event. So we give the event a name, we give it a location. So if we start typing a, um, a venue name, it, if it's there, it will find it. So there we go, either Styles East Perth, it's found it. You can add in floor, you know, uh, room number, that sort of thing. Um, start date and time, end date and time, time zone, make sure it's your, your own. A uh, bit of a description. Now you might use the description you've used on your booking page and the ticketing website if you're selling tickets. Now, even if you're doing a free event, um, using this feature to sort of manage your event isn't really practical because when people say they're going to an event on LinkedIn, um, it doesn't actually mean they're going. So it's good to have a ticketing link. So Eventbrite you can use obviously um, for free if you're doing a free event, or you might choose to do a um, an, another tool such as try, try booking or sticker tickets or, or something like that. You can set it as a public event, you can set it as a private event, and um, now that's, that's useful if you want to have it invite only, public, anybody can find. The other thing you want to do, I didn't mention, is you want to have a logo here, so you can use your company logo or the event logo, make sure it's square, and a cover image. So click on it um, and upload. Now it's telling you here the ratio is 4 to 1 so you want to create something that's in those dimensions. Now a great tool for creating um, images is Canva and you might want to create a custom image so don't use the LinkedIn banner because that's not designed for here. Create a custom image uh, within the dimensions 4 to 1. So let's work that out and off you go. And then once you've created your image I'll show you what it looks like. Here's one I created earlier. Um, so this is our LinkedIn local event. You've got the background or the cover image here, the little logo here, the, t uh, the title, the details, um, and you can even post within the event. Now, how do you get people to know about this event? Because, you know, once it's published, um, you've got to invite people. So I can invite my connection, so I click invite, and I can search for the location. So if I'm running an event in, say, Melbourne, let's apply. I can search by company, industry, school. So these are some of my Melbourne contacts and I can click and invite them and they'll get a notification. I can share a post about my event. So if I click share, it's sharing it to my profile. Um, it's got this default text. I recommend you change that or add to it. Keep the hashtag, but you wanna have some context. You wanna have that what's in it for me, for your audience. Why would they wanna to come to this event? What's it about? What are they gonna get? because that in itself doesn't really say very much. It's a starting point, absolutely. Add a few hashtags, so three is the optimum number, so it's already put this hashtag in here. Um, but I'd be adding in hashtag Perth Networking or Perth Business or just networking, something like that. Um, you wanna make your post viewable to anybody. Um, you can see here it's got a drop down because this is a fairly new feature. It doesn't work for events though. So I can share it to my profile, um, but I can't yet share it to pages because of this little limitation. So hopefully this will get fixed and that will be useful to share an event to a page. And then I can post in the event. So if I hit post, I'm creating a post and the audience is this particular event. So you can see here it's it's set there. So rather than being on my profile, it's it's for, for the people following this event. So here is what that looks like, bit of a bit of text, bit of an image. You can also um, invite, invite connections here and share the event here, so same features. And you can see who's already attending. So I can see all, now like I said, attending doesn't mean they're actually coming. You want them to actually, on the event, click on the Get Tickets link and LinkedIn can actually book, which is why it's good to use an external tool because LinkedIn doesn't have that capability right now. Now what if you want to share this event to your company page? So knowing you've got that limitation, right now you can only share it to your profile you might want to share it to a group or a page. What you need to do is, when you're on the event, in the menu bar here, there's a, there's a URL. Copy it, and then if you wanted to share it in a group, for instance, um, I can go to this one here, Perth Connect, and I can do a post in here. So I can start conversation, I can say, you know, um, 
next event are you booked uh here's the link i might put hashtags but it's in a, in a group so it's going to hit that group a group community which is, isn't very big because this is a new group um or before i did that i could have actually i could add an image or a, um, a video right now it's got this link um so I probably would add an image at first and then add the link. So then post, and then it'll end up in this, in this group, but not very compelling. So you want to, like I said, you want to tell that story. Why do people want to come? Um, the other one, like I said, is your pages. So you can access your pages through the me menu and down to manage, or you find them on the home page in this little box here, my pages. So I can go to LinkedIn local and I can do a post in here. Exactly the same as I did for groups and that way it hits my page network potentially. So I can put in blah, blah, blah. I would put a photo or a video or a document, put a bit of, bit of text, put the link in and, and post that there and some hashtags and that would um, hit the audience. So here's one I created earlier just to show you. Um, next event, register your interest, a bit boring, not very visually you know, for grabbing attention. Now, I created that by doing, doing a post with just the link. Now. If you know much about um, how uh, web links work, on a web page, so for instance, if you've got a blog and using WordPress or whatever, um, you set a feature image, and then when you share the link, that image is, is the preview, and you choose which image that, that's going to be. And so some of the platforms automatically might pick the first image, for instance, or something else. But when you share the link to the event, it doesn't pick up the cover image. So you can see here, didn't work. Um, so there's no image and that's why you want to share when you do the post you want to hit image and you want to browse to an image so an image you created for the event so i would find my image um and it's obviously got to be an image so i would just pick something that's the right size and pop it in and add the text and add the link so i do it that way so there you go that's linkedin events so it's a new fe newish feature. It's been around for a short while. I, I was one of the beta testers when it first got released early um, last year. Um, that they've been working on it. It's still got a bit of way to go. I'd like to see it added as a function to a company page because if you could um, and a group. So if you could um, set up an event as your group or your company and invite people like group members, uh, that would be useful. But right now it, it's sort of it's through your profile. But um, yeah, it's, it's a good feature, so I'd certainly recommend using it, but don't rely on it. Make sure you're marketing elsewhere. Make sure you've got a whole content strategy and a, con a communication strategy to invite people and make sure you've got an external tool for man managing your bookings and you're using you know, um, compelling images, compelling copy and um, video and document posts. So there you go. Hopefully this has been useful. If you've got any other questions about LinkedIn, ask me because I might create a video for you. Thanks very much.